Hello, I'm Marisol Gonzalez Sterling and I'm going to present here the world of sound. Here we have that sound and vibration is movement and here saying the sound of OM will move the earth into this shape. If we look again to the electromagnetic spectrum we see the left side bottom part a little grayish part which is the audible sound. After that we have the ultrasound and we have all the microwave vibrations from the radios and the um, televisions and the telephones until we reach the light uh, area which is a little grayish part on the top. The Doppler effect is that as the uh, some sound, some noise is approaching us, like this motorcycle, the waves are smaller. They become bigger when it's right here, and when it moves away, the waves are getting longer, and the sound is getting lower. Everything in this world is movement, and movement that has coherency and harmony goes in a Fibonacci progression which makes a perfect spiral and is coherent and in harmony with nature and it has the sacred geometry principle of the phi number and everything grows into the irregular geometry of nature do, doing fractals. Fractals means that it uh, progresses one little seed of a, of, a, of a symbol progresses until it becomes something else like a tree. Everything becomes perfect like for example here the leaves growing are to see the sun are perfectly in the sacred geometry spiral. Everything follows the principle of sacred geometry and coherent reality. Everything relates in spirals interacting one with the other like the electromagnetic heaven and the gravitational earth, they are two spirals of energy. All expressions are spirals, also the heart muscles are spirals, the cosmic forces from a galaxy to the breathing on the air coming into you is spiral, from the tornadoes and the relationship between the atmosphere and the earth as well as the DNA spirals that actually twist more when they uh, leave information out and they unwind with ultrasound. It is known the healing effects of the dolphins because of their ultrasound because what the ultrasound does is give us rejuvenation in our cells. I have studied and researched this much. Ultrasound will give more space in the DNA strands and then keep some information or rejuvenate the information. That's why they're so wonderful, the dolphins, and I've researched much with them. This is a pure sound of a dolphin. You see how coherent it is. This is a pure sound of a bell and tuning fork. You see also the different waves. And this is the pure sound of a human. You see it's much more incoherent than the dolphin. The different size of the waves become part of the resonant box, which is the solid part that keeps the sound in. And in case our Russian box is the mouth, the tongue, the teeth, that creates a certain harmonic that recognizes our own voice. Lack of energy influences the vocal cords vibration and these are responsible for the physical condition of the person. Meanwhile, intention uh, relates and influences the gestures and the harmonics of the resonant box. Vowel sounds do perfect waves. Meanwhile, consonants are doing hissing sounds that are actually deform the waves in in a irregular pattern. Which is why our FFT, our spectral, uh, always changes. In this case, these are harmonics. These are real harmonic sounds that are do perfect waves. We can check the energy from the different vowel sounds. Here we have the different waves in different colors and you see suddenly we do all the vowels in the same frequency and other times we don't. We have a variation of frequencies for the vowel sound. Then we have all the 12 musical notes, the seven musical notes with the five sharps which are the intermediaries between one and the other and they are in a circle like we see here in octaves growing up to spirals. And in the Biosonic uh, software we have many windows and many possibilities to analyze the sounds. We have relationship of colors and notes and the complementary notes that are in opposite di places of the, uh, of the circle, like one side and the other side. And they are notes that counteract each other. If we see the octaves we read in the voice with the chromatic, we see three octaves which are 
from the fundamental frequencies of our vocal cords. We have the red one, which is the blood cellular, the orange one, which is the body, skin, and the yellow, which is the projection outside of the aura, the emotions. We are between 50 and 300 cycles per second of hertz. Meanwhile, if we go to the FFT, we see many worlds beyond us in octaves higher up than us. The uh, astral, the mental, the karmic, and the spiritual, seven realms that are coming above us, and we can detect with the FFT or the frequency Fourier transform. With the Biosonic software, we record the voice, and we see here a little window that tells us how long we're recording, and then we get the processing, whereas you have the different octaves in red, in orange and yellow. The red is the cellular, the orange is the main octave, and the yellow is the emotional. And we have also color bars relating to the musical notes. As we see here, the bottom one has more of all the colors and all the notes. These color bars relating to notes also have frequencies which relate to nutrients in the database and we can see what is missing or what is too much in the voice. We also see a FFT which is a full spectrum of up to 11,000 and here you see that uh, we have a complete wave of our voice and then we have the harmonic signature which happens from the um, her mouth and the harmonics that contain the mouth and it's specific for each person and individually the waveform of their energy and it's always this we can also see the waves coming from the vowel sounds and several vowel sounds together or a, a little sentence or a little word and see how they relate and how some vowel sounds cross over with other vowel sounds and then we have a real good meaning of what the person's vowel sounds. We relate uh, those frequencies to of the vowel sounds to uh, nutrients of their, their molecular weight and here we see how vitamin C and vitamin B12 are interacting on the left side and how histidine and lysine are interacting on the right side. Here we have a table of elements that is in octaves going up for I. Walter Russell. And even though it's not demonstrated the molecular weight or the mass to frequency of the elements of the periodic table of elements related to frequency, we are having discussions and it's probable that it's true. We can then see many relationships of nutrients and toxins and also decide which nutrients are needed to give to the person through sound so that the uh, brain gets used to that sound and can absorb and assimilate the molecular weight of that nutrient. We also have a way to generate sounds in stereo or in mono and then hear them and give them, deliver them as frequencies of the nutrients that needed as well as uh, creating a CD. We, have, we can create uh, um, that we, they are random so that the brain does not uh, get to the sound that is hearing. We also have a database of many, many nutrients, um, amino acids and mineral salts, and we have them in the phi uh, geometrical spiral ascending, as well as uh, having also uh, the sounds mixed with the didgeridoo and the harmonic chants of that note so that then it's easier to listen to and uh, maybe we are uh, here listening in the background uh, the mixture of the frequencies in the phi, phi spiral sacred geometry ascending and descending as well as the chants. The most effective therapy is to have the person chant, tone, the frequency of the nutrient they need and they are listening to it through the headphones or from what we have generated uh, tones from the um, software and uh, we see how the person can adjust and see the tone that they are generating and we see how the voice changes dramatically and uh, picks up the missing frequency and the missing note and uh, this is the most uh, revealing and the most accepted mm, therapy that I have seen that really changes the voice. And you get to a very, very harmonic voice, as you see in the two bottom charts down here, that they're very different from the two top 
charts up above where there's a lot of disharmony. Meanwhile, in the bottom ones, you have a lot of the all the notes and all the um, color bars that represent the notes very balanced on the two bottom ones. I hope you liked it and that we continue sharing in other videos.